there is new alarming information about the supervolcano of the Phlegrean Fields. A secret document that has now emerged reveals that the magma is already much higher than expected and that the danger is much more imminent. Be sure to stay tuned until the end to find out all about the frightening news. And if you like it, I'd be galactically happy to get a thumbs up and a comment, because that's how we get the algorithm to show this important topic to even more people. Thank you guys and welcome. Italy, my absolute favorite country, where I live for several months every year. Fantastic cuisine, stunning landscapes, impressive architecture and great people in Arancini. Finally I was able to include an Arancino in a video again. The Dolce Vita is under threat, however, because the Phlegrean Fields, a supervolcano near Naples, have been giving scientists sleepless nights for months. They cover an area of 150 square kilometers and are characterized by a complex landscape of dents, craters, and geysers. Unlike the well-known Mount Vesuvius, which also dominates the region, the Campi Phlegriae are not a classic volcano with a clearly visible peak, but a collection of volcanic features, some of which are also underwater. Around 39,000 years ago, the largest volcanic eruption on the European continent in the last hundreds of thousands of years took place here. And this huge explosion had a truly devastating impact on the surrounding area, leaving deep scars in the landscape that can still be seen today. The issue is so important because an explosion at Campi Phlegria could potentially affect the whole continent. Such supervolcano eruptions not only release lava, but also result in huge ash clouds, pyroclastic flows and other dangerous phenomena. The consequences of such an eruption could be catastrophic and devastate entire regions. The eruption 39,000 years ago, for example, caused a cold period throughout Europe, and for the Naples region this would of course be nothing short of dramatic. And indeed, they have become increasingly active in recent months. One of the most striking developments in the region is soil uplift. In recent years, scientists have noticed that parts of the ground in the region are becoming increasingly uplifted. This is attributed to the pressure from below caused by the rising magma. Consequently, monitoring of the Campi Phlegria is intensive and an extensive network of seismometers and monitoring equipment covers the region in order to detect the signs in good time. This is of crucial importance, because evacuating a densely populated region like Naples is an immense logistical challenge. Anyone who has ever been to Naples and seen the traffic there might doubt that such an evacuation would go off without a hitch. What has now happened makes the matter all the more worrying. A previously secret document has been leaked, revealing new information about the situation in the Campi Phlegriae, and I'll spoil it for you. Non contiene buone notizie. The document, which comes from the meetings of the Italian Ministry of Civil Protection on October 26th and 27th, contains alarming information. It states that the magma is very likely to have risen from a 7 to 8 kilometers deep reservoir to a reservoir about 4 kilometers deep in the Campi Phlegriae. This is said to have occurred between 2015 and 2022. More recent data is lacking to follow the development more closely. Until now, including in my last videos on the subject, it was always assumed that the magma was much, much further down and that was always the main argument for not having to worry too much yet. And now this. The magma is already much closer to the surface than we thought, and this movement has occurred in the recent past, which clearly shows that the volcanic system is not only active, but on its way to the surface, so to speak. And what also worries me personally is that this information has been withheld by the local authorities in Naples and Pozzuoli. Yossi della Ragin, mayor of Bacali, a town located directly in the red zone of the Phlegrean fields, is quite angry and says, Now we want explanations. We are disappointed and angry because we don't like learning from the press about a document that was withheld from us in Rome. So the national authorities knew this, but didn't tell the people in the affected regions for a long time. Mamma mia! What exactly does the report say? Firstly, satellite images show that the Earth's surface is rising. We already know that. This rise is attributed to the pressure of rising magma and has increased in intensity in recent years. Geologists' models indicate that not only magma but also water vapor is involved in this movement. In the region, there is currently a geological structure about 100 to 200 meters deep that serves as a kind of cork seal. This structure prevents a massive underground water vapor explosion. The researchers refer to it as a clay and impermeable plug. However, should this plug fail, an unexpected eruption could occur, blasting the way clear for the lava and then things will happen very quickly. There could then be an underground steam explosion within a very short space of time and that would be really bad. 
and the warning from the Disaster Commission is pretty clear. They say that the current deformation rates could lead to the crustal fracture process being accelerated and critical conditions could be reached in a period of a few months to a few years. So not long at all. It is not 100% clear whether we are only dealing with magma or perhaps only with water vapor, as it is not possible to make statements about processes at such depths with absolute certainty. The Italian volcanologist Giovanni Macedonio says, Does steam or magma rise? What happens between 4 and 8 kilometers deep is not easy to verify. But the tendency in the report is clearly in the direction that we are dealing with magma here. The report clearly states that a rapid development towards magma ascent cannot be ruled out. And in my opinion, the local authorities and politicians in Naples and the surrounding area are rightly outraged that they only found out about this from the press. This makes it all the more important for me to shoot my documentary in January in order to really bring complete clarity to the matter. I also want to talk explicitly to experts on the ground and hear an honest assessment of the danger. To make this possible, I would like to briefly refer you to the crowdfunding campaign. Everyone please participate diligently. All supporters will of course get to see the documentary in advance. And the project is only possible with your help, which in my humble opinion is a very important undertaking. Whether you support the crowdfunding or not, I recommend that you subscribe to my channel now so that you don't miss this exciting documentary. I know many of you are watching but haven't subscribed. It's absolutely free, helps me immensely and you'll never miss another video and especially not the Campy Flegria documentary. So press the subscribe button now if you haven't already done so. Let's travel to other volcanoes, namely the underwater deep sea volcanoes, which are incredibly fascinating and can be found in the Mariana Trench, among other places. And Chinese scientists have now discovered something quite disturbing there. A previously unknown type of virus and they have taken it back to the lab. You can find out all about it and watch original footage from the Mariana Trench in the video below. Be sure to check it out and click on the link in the pinned comment to watch the crowdfunding. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care guys.